So let me tell you guys what's been going on this weekend. These these two days of just allowing me myself to think a little bit. So I don't I don't know why. My mind just wanders into to spaces where I'm like, where did that come from? And I'm pretty sure you guys can relate in some way because lately I've been thinking about like, just, I'm going to be honest, some negative stuff and y'all know me as positive Birdo and, and I just want you guys to know that it's okay it's part of life to to think that way. And what I was doing was I was suppressing those feelings. I was, I was suppressing those thoughts and replacing them with positive thoughts because that's how I was taught, you know, from from people that I watch online, from books that that I I read and they're just basically saying to just always say like I can, I am, positive affirmations and always remind yourself but i haven't read a book yet or having someone explain to me in a video yet like what happens when the negative starts coming in when it, when it, what happens when it starts to to consume you sometimes at night when you just can't sleep and i know I know what I have to do and that's just to keep on going. And some of these, some of the thoughts that I was thinking about was like, man, like I'm afraid if I'm doing the, if I'm doing the right thing, like if this is what I'm destined to do, am I qualified to, to come out here and to speak to you guys? Like, do I have enough credibility? Um, Like, what happens if this doesn't work? Like, this is my plan A. This is what I want to do. What happens if it doesn't work? I wasn't really setting up for a plan B. And all I can, all I can really think about is my barber. I went to, I went to go get a haircut from him. He's been cutting my hair for like eight years. Bro. Like, he's like a friend to me. Like, I would definitely invite him to my wedding because he's that guy. But I asked him. Before I started this whole journey, I didn't ask him. I didn't tell him what I was doing, but I just asked him. I was like, I was like, man, like, how did you get to like, cause he has like over like 400 clients. He's always booked. Like he, I have to, I have to book an appointment with him two weeks in advance. And I asked him, I was like, how do you, how did you get to this point in your career? Like, how did you get to these amount of clients and all of them loving you and wanting to book with you? Like how? And I was like, He's like, he's like, man, like I didn't stop. He's like, I did not stop for no one. He's like, I just kept going. He's like, no matter the season, no matter how I felt, no matter what was going on in, 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 in the real world, I just kept practicing. I kept, you know, I was at the barbershop six days a week. I was there from, for eight hours in the morning to the afternoon. I was, I was going in, I was like doing it for, I was doing that for years, years. He's like, I've been, I've been barbering for, he think I said 10 years, 10 plus years. He's like, but he's like, there was definitely times where like, I, um, I didn't know if it was for me either, but I kept going. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't force myself to think that there was no other option. I forced myself to get better. I forced myself to to keep going, no matter what my mind said, I, I, I allowed my body to, to do all the actions for me. I wasn't really thinking in my head too much. And I feel like that's what me, like I'm an overthinker. Like I think about everything, every detail. And sometimes I just gotta let my, my, my body do the talking. I need, I just need to move. I need to, I need my, my actions speak louder than my words and I just need to to keep going. Don't think about it too much. Just keep going. I started. Hopefully you guys started something. 
and eventually you guys will start thinking not eventually i'm not wishing that upon you if you guys don't have those negative thoughts then but if you guys do end up having those thoughts consume you for a little bit all i gotta say is is what i'm gonna start trying to do is to to acknowledge them but not don't let them define me and remember that to keep going like my barber said just keep going don't think about it just keep going so i'm just going to keep going i'm, I'm going to keep getting better and i'm gonna, i'm going to learn some things along the way i'm i want to sometimes i want to stay busy so i don't allow myself to think but i i think i was just running away from my thoughts those negative thoughts and running away is never never the way you have to tackle your problems head on you have to acknowledge your problem your situation that you're trying to fix and don't run away from it and, and tackle it head on so what i did was i prayed i talked to god i was like hey god this is how i feel and i was like please reveal to me what i need because only you know what i need and i, I don't know i don't know the answer to that i'll let you guys know god works in perfect timing but right now, I'm just going to keep going. I'm just not going to stop. Thank you, guys. I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys Wednesday. Peace.